So this is uh, part of the city walls dating from 1264. And what I'm going to do is now to walk around uh, the thermal bath complex, which is 1,600 years old. Oh, unfortunately you cannot walk around. Well, at least there's... Unfortunately, you cannot walk around. I'm not sure where you can access this from the other side. Yeah, this is um, the biggest part of the Roman bath complex. It used to be the Caldarium, which is basically the which is basically the the area where they had the warm water or the hottest and it's almost like a theater it's one of the biggest if not the biggest thermal bath outside of Italy or outside of Rome, mainland Rome at the time and it's about 1600 years old which uh, makes or dates back the beginning of the construction to about uh, 300 and something it, I think it was uh, began by Constantine so his coronation hall dates back from 315 so it must be around about the same time because um, when he was emperor they actually built this for him and then he didn't even use it for a long time actually it was never finished so and that's you know a succession of three different bath cold warmer and hot bath and there's a huge tunnel system um, below ground very efficient very uh, uh, sophisticated at the time but as uh, the roman emperor was not here anymore they after they had almost finished it they abandoned it and it fell into uh, ruins soon afterwards You can visit, but uh, I think you need to register beforehand because of the COVID shit. But that's impressive. I mean, it looks like a new building, really, well, from the 18th or 19th century. But just imagine, 1,600 years old, and it was just meant to take a bath. Well, actually, in Roman times, bath were also uh, well where you, where you washed yourself because nobody had a bath at home except the Rome, the Roman villas. But it was also a meeting point, social point of uh, the people. Well, I had planned to walk around, but apparently you can't. So I'm just going to to walk uh, around where I can. Yeah, I actually don't want to uh, get wet or dirty. As you can see, I just uh, yesterday I cleaned my shoes. They are night, nice and neat and clean. And I put on my Sunday trousers, and I'm presentable. Yeah, so uh, different times as well here 300 and something Roman bath and then uh, the city walls 
uh, well, be, well before the Middle Ages, like 1246. So very impressive. <coughs> Actually, there are four main Roman sites in Trier. You can visit them all. And there's one ticket for the four of them. But I don't really have time to go inside because there's more to see. So that's why I'm actually going to skip the interior and just walk around a little so there's some kind of a viewing platform where you can see the Roman bath yeah just walk around see what we can see from the outside. That's again the palace garden and <clears throat> the palace and the church the coronation hall. And room and bath just opposite. So he could, if it had been finished, he could have walked across from the coronation hall to the bath. The emperor thermal bath. And it's also UNESCO World Heritage Site. See those are the Roman things in Trier. Those imperial bath, the other bath, smaller ones, and in the third one, Barbara bath, there's a villa Otrang. Castel. And there's the amphitheater and the city gate. It's UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1987. And you can actually buy a ticket for all those antiquity, antiquities or antique places. It's 12 euros. So those are the tunnels below ground. Which you can see. Unfortunately, you don't see a lot, and they built uh, newer structures as uh, some kind of fence and museum. But the uh, ruins of the main thermal hall, Padarium, uh, and the uh, tunnels where they had their uh, hot air uh, and different other things. Probably the best things to see. Mm -hmm. We'll see whether you can see anything from this side. buildings yeah. 
it's all same stuff. Hedges, high hedges. So you'd actually have to climb onto that wall to see more. Oh, well, well done. Something. Yeah. Huge area. Uh, you can see the excavations, which are protected by those. Uh, corrugated roofs and this is probably uh, where the underground things are quite a big big um, square yep yeah there's nothing here there's a museum your museum and then you've got the caldarium and the tunnels which you can see 